Thank you very much for inviting me to the floor. Sorry about technical issues. Um, it's a pleasure to, to be here in this uh, family, Eastern and Central European family, energy family and hydrogen family as well. Uh, uh, good afternoon. I'm a uh, president uh, of Slovak Hydrogen Association and uh, uh, Slovakia should, uh, should uh, build a bridge between Europe and between the uh, day after the war in the Ukrainian side. So how to, how to convert or how to recover uh, uh, energy system in Ukraine to, to be able to produce uh, green hydrogen is well known. But how to transport hydrogen to the, to the Ukrainian customers and also to the European uh, customers or Slovakian customers is a, is a question. But the solution is here. We know that we have a, a long line of pipelines of a gas pipe connecting the Ukrainian side to European side across Slovakia. In Slovakia, we have uh, gas pipelines, pipelines, parallel four pipelines with big, big di diameter, about 1.2 meter. So, so this volume of gas could be replaced in the future by, by hydrogen. Slovakia has a, a hydrogen-based industry. For example, ammonia industry in Slovakia consumes 100,000 uh, ton, tons of hydrogen per year. It's a huge amount, and the and the uh, company which is producing fertilizers from the from the gas, then from the hydrogen, then from uh, urea, then then this, uh, this fertilizer, consume uh, a lot of gas, and it is in the first place on the industrial uh, consumers of hydrogen in, in Slovakia. So uh, chemical industry and then refinery is something what is now consuming hydrogen, gray hydrogen in Slovakia. And we want to replace those uh, con consumption by green or blue hydrogen, so-called so -called blue, it is low carbon hydrogen. And uh, only one way is to to reconnect again to the pipelines, which will be a hydrogen pipelines. So what we'll need those uh, uh, industrial customers is a sufficient volume of hydrogen per year with favorable price. This is only possible with a, a large scale hydrogen production abroad. Some of the part of the consumption will be replaced a domestic production of, uh, of uh, green hydrogen, but I think it's, it is about only 10 to 20 percent. 80 percent must be imported from abroad. But the first big consumer behind the border in Košice region is the US Steel Košice. It is a big potential consumer of hydrogen because uh, now they're working on blast furnace. You know, they consume a lot of uh, 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 coal to produce uh, green uh, to produce steel and they want to produce green steel but they need another solution uh, not based on uh, carbon but based on direct electrification or uh, uh, using hydrogen uh, so the potential in 2030 is to replace one of the blast furnace with a direct uh, hydrogen production which consume another 100,000 tons of hydrogen. So in this order, in Košice region, thanks to the, the Košice government region, uh, now we are, we are preparing a, a proposal for a hydrogen valley, a big hydrogen valley, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, now is open a call in a clean hydrogen partnership to, to propose uh, application. And we would like to support uh, industrial sector as well as uh, uh, transport sector. But industrial sector will be something what is motivating these big changes in Slovakia. But again, the question, we can produce only 10% uh, of hydrogen locally, but we need a large production abroad. But abroad means Ukraine, because Ukraine is only 70 kilometers far from this uh, steel mill. So this is the first stage 
of the building of already mentioned uh, Central European Hydrogen Corridor. So the first stage will be uh, connection between the large capacity production in the western part of Ukraine to uh, for the consumption in in uh, Kosice region. And this will boost uh, to rebuild all the pipelines across the Slovakia to connect already mentioned chemical sector, chemical industrial sector, and following through the uh, Czech Republic or Austria to the Germany. So these pipes could replace uh, 500 terawatt hours of uh, natural gas by 500 or more uh, terawatt hours of uh, green or blue hydrogen for the future. So now we, with Alexander Ryepkin, we are preparing uh, together a so-called East Carpathian Hydrogen Valley, which will connect Western Ukrainian Hydrogen Valley with Kosice Hydrogen Valley to the cross-border Hydrogen Valley. And this will be a, a really uh, a first kind of uh, project, complex project, complex, complex hydrogen value chain project in the uh, Slovak part as, uh, and already in, in uh, the Ukrainian part. I think that uh, the cooperation for the future will continue uh, with uh, reconnecting the, the other branches of the gas pipelines, which will be repurposed to the hydrogen pipelines. Of course, this costs a lot of money, but we know that uh, uh, hydrogen, uh, the European Union, as well as United States are ready to invest to, to recovery of Ukraine and uh, not only energy sector, but all the sectors to help Ukraine to, to, to start again from, from the dust and to benefit from the, from the uh, uh, Western uh, help. So I see a, a bright, bright future, <laughs> close future, I think, <laughs> because we are not starting this project and we, we will have a, a workshop uh, two days uh, after after tomorrow and then there will be a first kick of discussion how to do it Jan, thank you very much uh, it's very important uh, that uh, uh, our regions uh, uh, which are very close to each other settle such uh, uh, initiative because this initiative is a part of the ipse uh, central european hydrogen corridor and uh, uh, looking uh, uh, forward to see you tomorrow and uh, hope uh, that very soon uh, we will uh, uh, have a good news uh, for all hydrogen world thank you very much jan for participation thank you to ukrainians be strong good luck <laughs>